Now, a BBC investigation has uh, uncovered evidence of how Germany is being used to store small boats before they're used by migrants to cross the English Channel. During a meeting that we covertly filmed, two smugglers really have revealed how boats were being stored in secret warehouses around the city of Essen. Our Berlin correspondent Jessica Parker has more on this. Essen, West Germany, a place many migrants come to or pass through. It's here our journalist is posing as a Syrian man who wants to get to Britain on a small boat. Wearing a secret camera, he meets this man, a boat smuggler, who says his name is Abu Sahar. These are videos from Abu Sahar, motors, dinghies for use in migrant crossings. This one he's suggested is being stored nearby, somewhere around Essen, ready for the right price. They end up at a cafe. It's becoming clear someone else is coming. Months of groundwork have led up to this moment. Our guy is just a couple of streets away, having a meeting with his contact. We've got a tracker on him. We're parked up here. We don't want to get too close. That could compromise things, but we've got to be close enough in case there's a problem and we have to get him out of there. They're joined by a man known as Al Hal, the uncle, a term of authority. Due to strict German law, we can't record the sound of the meeting. So right after, our journalist describes to me what happened. They tell me the equipment comes from Turkey. They have about 10 warehouses around Essen. Police raided one a few days ago, but they separate their stock and give bait to police. As our investigation shows, smugglers are moving boats from Turkey to West Germany. Britain's national crime agencies confirmed Germany's a central location for storing dinghies later used in channel crossings. Because cities like Essen are near, but not too near, the Calais region's more closely watched beaches. While under German law, helping to smuggle people out of the EU to a third country like the UK isn't technically illegal. Back at the cafe, it's down to business. The smuggler says one option. I can get you a boat. You will pay me 15,000 euros. You will get the boat with 60 life jackets and all the equipment, guaranteed delivery to the Calais area. This testimony is backed up by videos, messages and voice notes from the smugglers. In various exchanges, the main contact, Abu Sahar, even discusses the merits of certain engine models and known migrant crossing points. On the beaches of northeastern France, dawn breaks. Cooperation to crack down on gangs is good or being accelerated, according to the German and UK governments. But the remnants of failed, even fatal crossing attempts litter these shores. While, as we've shown, smugglers continue to make big money from this misery. Jessica Parker, BBC News. And responding to the BBC investigation in the last hour, the UK Home Secretary Yvette Cooper has made the following comments about smuggler gangs, and I quote, well, they have been getting away with it for far too long. That is why since the election, we have set up the new Border Security Command to work with partners across Europe. It is only by working with other countries that we will strengthen our border security and tackle this appalling trade in people. For more on this, our correspondent Jessica Parker has an article on the BBC News website you may want to visit about the five-month-long BBC investigation that exposed the German connection to the human smuggling trade across the English Channel. So do log on to the BBC News website for more on that story.